You could definitely say that e-bikes are the biggest evolution in the world of bicycles ever since these two-wheeled contraptions were invented. Sure. Cycling tech in general has advanced leaps and bounds over the couple of centuries it's been around. However, it's with today's crop of electric bicycles that we've started to see two-wheelers in all sorts of funky shapes and sizes. Needless to say, getting the flashiest, most technologically advanced e-bike on the market can cost you more than a brand new car. So much for no frills, accessible mobility, eh? Worry not, however, as on the other end of the spectrum, there are ways to get in on the e-bike fun even when on a tight budget. Livall's Pika Boost e-bike conversion kit is the perfect example of this sort of tech. You see, for just $599 to $299 if you avail of the early bird promo, you can convert any old bicycle into an e-bike by simple strapping this thing onto your seat post. Designed by American company Livall, the Pika Boost gives you a peek at the boost. See what I did there, provided by full on e-bikes. Sure. Given the fact that it's a generic e-bike kit, it's certainly going to miss out on some of the tech features found on dedicated e-bikes. Nevertheless, it presents itself as a gateway drug into the world of e-bikes. Perfect for today's generation of kids who are scared of commitment, right? All jokes aside, the Livall Pika Boost certainly has some real-world advantages apart from its affordable price tag. Say, for example, you're going bikepacking for a few days, and anticipate a long, boring climb that you'd rather sit out. All you have to do is strap this thing onto your seat post, and pedal along as if you were riding on a flat surface. The device should be good for a distance of around 30 kilometers, or 19 miles on a single charge, which isn't too bad, all things considered. Additionally, the fact that it weighs just 3 kilos means you can easily store it in your backpack or in your saddlebag when not in use. Charging is estimated to take around 3 hours, and the Pika Boost comes with a built-in tail light, and a nifty USB charger that lets you juice up your phone as you ride. That said, doing so will certainly eat into your range somewhat. What's more, this bolt-on e-bike conversion kit has three riding modes for you to choose from, hold, roll, and sport. However, as someone who's been wrenching on all sorts of bikes for nearly all his life, I know that not all the glitters is gold, and chances are the same as true with the Pika Boost. As is the case with most e-bike conversion kits of this nature, it'll never operate as smoothly as a hub motor or mid-drive equipped e-bike. Also, expect to stop every now and then to make sure the roller is aligned with the rear wheel. Especially given how attractive the pricing is, I do certainly say that this thing is worth considering, especially for someone who's curious about getting into e-bikes, but isn't quite ready to financially commit to a proper electric bicycle. Thanks for watching. Credits to InsideEVS.com and Spied Build LLC. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.